Good day, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Um, just wanted to do a quick video today, and uh, just so you know, today is my first day of my holiday vacation. I had some holidays banked up, and uh, I'm off exactly 25 days in a row, and those 25 days are going to be concentrated to to sell on eBay, picking on eBay, doing videos on YouTube, spending time with family and, and on the holidays, and uh, you know, and that's it probably. So uh, I wanted to uh, let you know, the guys, that I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos. Uh, I'll do the best I can to keep the content is interesting. Um, I am going to a thrift store right now, and I will go in and try to find some stuff to sell. Uh, it's later in the day, it's about 12.30. The thrift store opened at 11. I may hit two, I don't know, depending on the day, how, how things go. Um, I also wanted to give you a managed payment update. And uh, I wanted to let you know about that hold on the equalizer from that gentleman that said I overcharged him $112. Well, he received it. And um, the funny thing, what happened on Monday, and I think I mentioned this in my last video, uh, eBay um, managed payment, uh, one of the people on their team in uh, San Jose, California, uh, they uh, did call me back on Monday. Sorry, my camera's dropping here. They did call me back on Monday, as they said they would at 10.30. And what the buyer did, uh, I guess eBay sent him a message saying, can you please explain your case? Because the case that you opened is for the item uh, actually not being delivered. And so he sent a message back saying um, the item, or sorry, the charge, he doesn't, he doesn't know what the charge is for or why he was charged for it. So it's pretty vague still. So she told me to uh, wait till it was delivered, which was supposed to be on the 10th, which is today. Uh, so it was delivered yesterday. And then put the tracking number and close the case, which I did. They are now sending that information to his financial institution. And I should win the case and my money should be released in about six to seven business days, they said. So I'll keep you in the loop and let you know what's happening there. Um, and uh, that's it for that case. And the other one still open. I probably will drag out for the full 75 days and I'll get my 400 and something dollars back sometime in January, which I'm fine with uh, as, long as, as long as I get my money back. Uh, eBay sales have been steady, like up and down. Weird things sell, uh, some high ticket items uh, sold, and we will cover that in the next Studs and Duds video. I probably will do it on Saturday morning, uh, like I typically like to shoot a video uh, on those days. And um, I think that's it for now. Let's head to the thrift store. Let's see what we can find. And when I come out, I'll show you what I got. Until then, guys. Okay, guys, we arrived at the first thrift store. I think I'm going to hit maybe one or two more after this one right down the road. Uh, there's a Salvation Army I haven't been to for a long time. And let's go see if they're open and uh, if there's anything there. But let's get out. Let's check this Value Village out. And uh, I'll bring the camera in, too, and we'll do some filming.
Okay, guys, we're back in the truck, and I did pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I did pretty good. There's a spoiler in there. I don't know if you saw it in my cart. Uh, I picked that for 10 bucks. Stay till the end when I reveal it at the house. Um, sells for 200 and something dollars if it works, and it's a very interesting item. And with times with COVID and people paranoid about viruses and germs and stuff, I think I can sell it and make some good money. Um, I also got a real, I don't know if you saw it, it's a remote control boat that catches fish. So I don't know, it's uh, there's a couple of listings for 200, I picked that up for 10 bucks. It's open box, it looks like it was bought, things were taken out and it was never used. So I'm gonna have to test it. But luck is on my side I think today guys, and I'm gonna head to the Salvation Army like I told you down the road here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring my camera in. I don't shop there that much, and I don't want to, uh, you know, sometimes they don't like you filming in their stores. So let me get down the road. I'll shoot. I'll actually show you the outside of it. I'll, I'll film that video. I'll go in and see what I can find. And as always, I'll bring it out, and I'll tell you what I paid and what do you think? What I think I can get for some of the items, if we find anything. Until then. All right, guys. I went in. Um, I'm sorry I didn't film going in. I had to pack at the park at the back of the place because uh, I don't know if you can see it's all the way over that car. There's the entrance down there. Um, interesting. Very, it's, they've changed a little bit in there since I've been in there last. The, um, uh, for those of you that live in the area, this is the one on Burlington. Um, and the auctions now are over and you're able to buy the items in the cabinets. They had a, I almost bought a pair, a couple of uh, Lego sets. One was a retired Marvel superheroes one, but they were open. Uh, they wanted 35 bucks for both. I had a coupon and I just, I just didn't want to buy them and you know, not have the contents fully. I don't like buying open Lego sets anymore. Uh, I try to buy them sealed, but other than that, there wasn't much. Uh, the electronics were picked through. There was nothing there. But anyways, guys, I think I'm okay for what I got today for day one of my holidays, day two or day three, day four. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to get back to the house um, and I'm going to gather some items that I picked uh, during the week and I'll show you the items I got today and uh, I'll tell you what I think I can get for them. All right, until we get to Okay, guys, we're back at the house and now, what time is it right now? Oh man, the sun it gets dark early, 4.44. Uh, I stopped to get uh, a bite to eat on my way back to the house, and then I went and I pulled, I think, only three things this week because I wanted to focus on what I purchased today. I spent a total of $69, I think. $69 or $72, I can't remember. It's around there with the discount I had. But let me show you the two things, or the three things, that I found throughout the week, and there are three good, good uh, finds. The first one here, and I'm gonna just move this over here. The first one here was a score. This is, I think it's 10 years old. It is a Meccano set, okay? 610 plus parts. You can make 50 different models on it. I'm trying to move around so you can see it. And this is the special edition dual motor designer set. Now, looking on Amazon and on eBay, ranging anywhere from 79 to 100 bucks. Uh, I got 10 bucks in it. So uh, very, very cool find. I, I've, I've found many of these sealed brand new. It's like the kids get them for whether a younger kid gets it for a present and the parents don't let them open it up because of the metal parts and the screws and everything, right? So there's that. Then the next thing I found, and I swore I wouldn't do this anymore. Uh, I was gonna only gonna stick to the mechanical type of typewriter, but when I saw this Panasonic R200, I had to pick it up. Clean, clean, it's missing the cover. It's not, it's not gonna break the deal, but um, it works perfectly. I plugged it in in very nice condition. I think I got 10 bucks into it. All right, very nice. I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing. I tested it. Uh, it's got the handle to carry it. Beautiful. Um, I think I got it on for about 100 bucks right now and see where it goes. One just sold. Very similar condition for um, I think 99 bucks or 98 bucks. The next thing I found and I was it was a funny story. I was I, 
I was uh, at one of the thrift stores late one day and I ran into another picker, Dan, if you're watching, he, he's a guy that I meet and he, he actually, he's got an antique store uh, like Antiques and Profits um, in a different market though and he collects or he resells a lot of figurines, stuff like that. So we were talking, he didn't find anything, I didn't find anything. So I started, I go, I was ready to leave and I said to myself, I'm going to, let's, I'm going to go one more lap, just see if I can find anything. So the, so they are starting to put out stuff throughout the day and I found that out and the cart was out and I looked down and I saw the back end of this thing and then there was a plastic bag like this stuck on top and this is a score guys. I got this for, for 12 bucks. This is, and I love selling these, Toshiba. DVD video player, video cassette recorder, SDV394. Okay. Nice, nice condition. All right. And then you got your RBG coming out, digital audio. A lot newer, newer. Uh, not the new, not HDMIs, but new enough to go on these newer TVs. And the thing that amazed me, beginning the condition, everything was there. I've got the manual, which is bonus. Nice AV cables, beautiful. And to top it off, the remote, and it works perfectly. I got it on, I think for 119 right now. Um, if it was in the box, you would be easy, easy over 200 for it, guys. But because it's pre-owned, I'm gonna try to flip it fast. If I get 100 bucks for it, I'm gonna be really, really happy. Then the next thing, I'm gonna have to go reach this, and I've sold these in the past, and I've sold the cheaper version of them. And this one's a really, real nice one, and it works perfectly. I printed the manual off the manufacturer's website. And this is a food saver vacuum bag sealer. Stainless black, very, very nice condition. Uh, model number, if I can read it for you, is V3820, I believe. Is that right? The V, because I have the manual here. Yep, V3820. Um, fetching is high, used like this, 80, 90 bucks. Um, I got, I don't know, 15 into it maybe? I just, I picked it up because of the, how clean it was and I've never seen one as nice as this. Usually it's those cheap, cheap white ones that you uh, usually pick up. Um, now, st stay till the end guys, I'm gonna show you that one item I picked up for 10 bucks and if it works, uh, I just looked it up, I think I can get around 150. If it was new in the box, over 200, so. But I couldn't believe that was there. Next, this is these are all today's finds. Yeah, these are all today's. First one, I like finding these guys. This is a Panasonic Unified Remote. Nice, nice remote um, for older technology. It's got the slip panel. I think I got two dollars into it. I usually list these for twenty bucks. They're easy to ship, easy to you know pack. Uh, they're just great little money makers. But you got to find the higher end, unique ones like this that people are looking for for their vintage electronics. Next, I picked up this. I just picked it up because a it's in the box and it's sealed and it's Star Trek and it's uh, what is this? This is the USS Enterprise figurine. Man, that's what it looks like right there. You got Jean-Luc Picard on the side. I got $9.99 less 20 today. Uh, that's what I paid for it. Um, I'm going to put it on for $24.99, see what happens. A lot of Star Trek collectors out there. Box has a little bit of wear, but hey, the figurine's in mint condition, so we'll see what happens with that. Then, uh, this was when I first got there and you saw it in the video. I found this. Monster Evolution 50 remote control. Brand new in the box. Awesome find. The best part is, look at the price. So this here, let's see here. Used with thumbs or non-slip tabletop console, built-in codes, hundreds of codes available, backlit, and infrared learning functions of any remotes, new or old. So this controls all kinds of remote controls. I've never seen it before. Uh, I looked it up, this is brand new. Um, I'm gonna put it for 89 bucks. I think that's what I can get for it. But a pretty good, good find for 4.99 less 20. 
Uh, I can't believe Value Village priced that that low. Uh, what did I go after? So still in electronics, and I think you saw this. This is a Sirius radio, Sirius XM radio. Paid $24.99. I just tested it. It works great. This is model number SXABB2. It comes with the radio that is not activated. You have to activate it. But the great thing about it, it comes with the power cord and most importantly, the remote control. Very, very key in selling that. Seated as high as 80, 90, um, I don't know. I got 24.99 less 20 because it has the remote. Might go 79, see if it flips a little faster than that. Then I went by the lamps and I found this item and I'm gonna show you that last. I'm not gonna show you yet, that's the money maker. Then I went over to toys and this was sitting here and I have never seen this before. Please put it down in the comments if you have. This is brand new in the box. It's been taken out of the plastic packaging or whatever. And this is a thing called a Viva Fishing Buddy. And it's a remote control boat that catches fit fish up to two pounds. Oh, you can see that guys. Check this out. See that? And here is actually the boat. And it comes with a remote control fishing rod. Is that focusing? I don't know if it is. I don't know if you see that. And I guess, you know, oh, here's, a, here's a good picture right here. That's it right there. If that will focus, that's awesome. There we go. So you put your hooks on the boat, you put the boat in the water, and then you run it around and it catches fish for you. Supposedly it sells for up to a hundred bucks. I got, where's the price there? Is there a price there? That's what I got into it. Not much, 10 bucks less 20. So I'm thinking open box, mm, I might go 79.99 and see what happens. Then I went over to the showcase and you saw I filmed a little bit of the showcase and you saw this item. This is, I can't believe this was there for $14.99. Again, less 20. This is a Sony FM AM tape Walkman that's recordable. Now, from what I know, recordable Walkmans that record sell very, very well for good money. Now, I looked this one up. It varies. It goes up to 90 bucks. Um, battery compartment's clean. Really, really clean. Like It's just got some minor, if you can see if it's picking that up. Um, no headphones, no case. I think I'm going to put it on for $59.99. I won't be the highest. I won't be the lowest. I'll put be right in the middle. I thought I found that. That was really, real cool. Now, for the find for 10 bucks, and I've just been spending time cleaning it. This is a company called Verilux, and you know I've sold the Verilux uh, UV lamps for times, this time of the year when it gets dark early or people are working in, the, in a basement office and they, never, they don't got any sunlight during the day. You can put it on your desk and then it, produ it produces day daylight, right? And it gives you um, ther light therapy, actually. Same company, this is Verilux, but this is called the Clean Wave Sanitizing Wand. Check this out. You guys can see that. The tags are still on it. It's it takes a, it has a rechargeable battery right here in the handle. And there's a UV light here, and you turn it on, and then you go around, and you sanitize your house. And when I found this, I I thought, man, if this thing works, it's got to be worth some money. So I looked it up, and like I said, brand new in the box, to over two hundred dollars. Now I'm not going to get two hundred bucks. I'm missing the charger. I've got lots of little. Um, a AC adapters here. I'll find what does it take? What is a a 6.5 volt? No problem. I'll find one. I'll plug it in charge it and if it works great I'm gonna put it for hundred and forty nine dollars A very very cool never expected to find something like this I did I never expected to find it in the shape with the tag still on it So let me know if you've ever seen one of these guys or sold one of them. It'd be interesting to see if they do sell well. And there's a ton of them on eBay, so it's 
especially now with COVID, like I told you in the truck earlier. All right, guys, that's it for now. I wanted to give you a, an update on the managed payment on that uh, payment hold. I just checked before I started doing this part of the video. They're still processing the information to send it up to that buyer's financial institution so that this thing can close and I can get my $133, I think 16 cents back in my hands. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot coming at you. I'm on vacation till January 4th, like I told you. I'll try to do multiple videos, try to keep them as interesting as possible. Uh, I might do a couple on shipping. I'm gonna get a lot of questions on shipping again uh, on how I do stuff. So I'm gonna have to brainstorm and put something like that together. Thumbs up if you like it, guys. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Share with your friends. Let them know about Chris's treasure chest. They may be interested in reselling online. Until next time, it's Chris. We'll talk to you later.